Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going hands on with the all new DJ Pro 2 app for your Mac. For those who aren't familiar with the DJ Pro app, this app was intended for DJs, specifically those who might perform sets and could find the unique features that are offered from the DJ Pro app useful. Today, DJ Pro 2 was just released with a bevy of new features that personally make this app far more appealing to all music lovers and not just aspiring or professional DJs. So taking a quick side-by-side -side look at the original DJ Pro app versus DJ Pro 2, you can see that the UI has gone through a pretty modest update. The new version has a much cleaner look overall, and your media library seems much more organized and easier to find whatever song you might be looking for. The biggest feature to make its way into the new DJ Pro 2 app is Automix AI. Automix AI uses machine learning and training sets from human DJs and intelligently identifies rhythmic patterns as well as the best intro and outro sections of the songs. This will also calculate the optimal amount of time a fade should take place and will even help change your EQs and filters for a seamless transition from one song to the next. Of course, the beats and tempos will be matched using the Morph feature and will ensure the song remains at the same tempo during a transition. Now the app will suggest optimal times to manually control when and how you would like to transition from one song to the next, but if you're like me and not a DJ at all but would like to maybe create a killer mix of cross-genre songs, you can let the app do all of the work and create the perfect seamless playlist. In your auto mix panel, you can of course select whichever songs you might want in your mix, or you can let the app create a playlist based around the song that's currently playing. Since I have this tied to Spotify at the moment, this is pulling in songs that I might not have ever heard of and kind of making this a really useful tool for discovering new bands and songs that are similar to what you're currently listening to. I've messed around with this feature for hours now and I really enjoyed the playlist that it created for me, as well as making your playlist that much better when your transitions are seamless. Media library has also gone through a bit of an update, and as I mentioned earlier, your media is just much more organized and easier to sort through to find what you might be looking for. DJ Pro 2 takes us one step further by creating its own smart playlists or smart filters. With these tools, you can create the rules to display exactly what you need for creating playlists or finding a specific song. Finally, another major feature introduced in DJ Pro 2 is Photo Beat. With Photo Beat, you can unify music with photos not only for making some pretty cool visual slideshows, but having the photo transitions perfectly match to the beat of your song. Photos can be cycled on beat, and the rate can be adjusted from a quarter of a beat all the way up to four beats per photo. Once you've created the perfect slideshow, you can output the video via HDMI or use AirPlay to show your family and friends. There are tons of other smaller but really powerful advanced features found inside of DJ Pro 2, and with a limited time introductory price of $39.99, I honestly believe this app should not be limited to just those who are aspiring or professional DJs, but for music lovers too. If you want to download DJ Pro 2, you can find it in the Mac App Store, and I will leave that link in the description below. Let us know what you think of the all-new DJ Pro 2 app, and if you're a current user of the original DJ Pro, what new feature do you find most interesting? This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.